Hello and welcome to another video with Gamers Class. This is Shizzy Dora here. This video is going to be about tips uh, that I personally use in my games to grind the uh, MMR in pubs. Yeah, that's uh, that's the simplest way to put it. Now, these tips are very random, and some of them might help you, some of them might not, some of them you already know them, some of them you don't. So make sure to watch till the very end. Hit that. Uh, like button hit that subscription button and let's get right into the video if you like this type of content go to gamersclass.com for just 9.99 a month watch master classes with pro players join exclusive live sessions and get 24 7 access to coaches and other high mmr players get full control of your rank games and start owning with our supreme dota 2 membership so the first and foremost tip guys is keeping your courier out of the base uh, when the game starts so naturally when the game starts your courier somewhere spawns over here right and obviously I'm level 26 right now on the NP but um, at level 1 your courier is very slow and this um, this pathing path right here from here to here is a makes a big difference especially for mid laners so say if you had your courier here you buy a salve you call out the salve, it's going to take way more time. But if the courier was already here, and then you buy a salve, it's obviously going to reach you much earlier. So it just, it helps you um, a lot in terms of time. I believe it helps you around three seconds. You will get your items three seconds faster. Try to make this a habit. And uh, basically, every time the courier goes back, every time you press the, um, you know, uh, send base option or whatever, one of the couriers going back to base, it will go back all the way to here. So you want to make it a habit and you want to keep the courier over here. Just make sure that uh, there's not an MK against you. Because MK can snipe couriers. Uh, that's If you don't know that, spirit. you'll have to see eventually when it happens to you. When, it, when a monkey kills your courier at level 1. Now guys, the second tip is basically double stacking camps. Now this double stacking sure. is really good for basically farming faster you can do it as a support as a core for yourself as well um it is done best in dire you can do it in radiant as well but only one one spot in radiant so the stacked and the stacked so if you're a support you can do it if you are a carry you can do it basically you any hero you can do it and you can do it over here as well it's pretty much the same concept you hit this one at 53 and you hit this one at 55 and on Radiant, it's the same. You hit this one at 53, this one at 55, and they get stacked. But let me show you guys. So as a support, it's basically going to be like, you get some experience if you share the experience on the stacks, and you get some gold. Pretty much just by being at the right spot at the right time. That's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. And this will eventually help you boost your own farm your own experience and your cores farm and their experience as well which will give you a boost in your pubs so you hit this one at 53 and then you hit this one at 55 you go all the way here and boom you have a double stack there you go so obviously it's way better than dire because you can do this and this and this and this you have two can two my, basically my triangles in a way to uh farm on the radiant side you only have this side and i think it's a bit harder to do it as well if you have a low low range hero low attack range i would say on dire even if you're a melee hero you can potentially stack these by cutting these uh trees on Radiant, it's a bit harder, so obviously Dire has a bigger advantage on this. Another tip is to keep your courier in the Rosh pit uh, when the Rosh is dead and you don't really have a timer. Also, the timer is never... Um, it's not something that you can exactly know when it's going to spawn. It's not accurate because it spawns uh, in like 7 to 10 minutes, right? So... Uh, it can spawn anywhere between in these uh, three minutes and you don't know exactly but if you keep a courier in the rush pit you know exactly when the rush is about to spawn so 
all you gotta do is you, you gotta keep your courier like this and uh, try not to feed your courier while you're doing this if you keep your courier exactly right over here it's very hard for the enemy to spot your courier and you can spot the rush whenever it spawns instantly on the map you can see it on the map when the rush spawns which is uh which is really really good it gives you that certainty in the game about when the rush is about to spawn and it gives your team a better timing when to kill rush another tip for securing power runes now this is a tip that is basically uh used before the four minute mark and the way you want to do this is you want to push the lane when the power runes are about to spawn and how do you actually do this it's very simple you just push the lane uh there's nothing much to it really uh, the best way to do it is to have a ward all right so you have a ward and a ward that basically is showing you the room so say you're laning an enemy mid laner here what you want to do is you want to nuke the wave obviously if you're actually playing a real mid hero not a niche's prophet you want to push the lane nuke the wave whatever hero you're playing storm spirit ember spirit shadow fiend whatever queen of pain you want to nuke the wave you want to push the wave and then uh, you can actually go for the power room. Now the enemy will have only one one or two options. Uh, he has basically two options. Uh, either he goes for this room, okay? Or he defends the tower and farms the creeps because the creeps are pushing into his tower. Now smart, what the smart mid players are doing right now, they're actually gonna draw aggro from these creeps and they're gonna go for the rune with the creeps but it, it is going to be a really big hassle for them and obviously if they're if the creeps are following the enemy mid laner you can actually take a trade with them because the creeps do a lot of damage in the early levels so obviously um this is something that's going to help you uh securing runes and you can do the same for bounty runes as well when you're playing the side lanes every time the bounties are about to spawn what you want to do is you just want to push the lane push the lane once the lane is pushed the enemy offlaner right he he's either gonna defend this tower farm these creeps get this experience or he's gonna go for the bounty regardless of what he does it is gonna give you some kind of advantage one either you get the bounty or he i mean the enemy offlaner gets the bounty but he misses some experience so all in all uh, it's a play that you will get you it's a play that you will basically make and you're just not gonna give away free bounties or free experience for no reason if that if that makes sense another thing I want to tell you guys is towers give extra armor so the tier 1 tower gives you uh, 3 armor and 1 HP region and the, the, the tier 2 tower gives you five armor and three hp region on my way and the tier four tower also does the same i mean the tier three tower actually this is not, it's not tier four it's tier three tier three tower gives you five armor and three region so i go and the same for tier fours as well so every tower will basically give you some amount of armor and region and it's way way better to fight around your towers uh you can actually use the fortification your towers hit the uh, multi multi shots multi shots multi shots whatever it is and uh it's just overall way better to play around your tower and you can also do this for the mid lane you can basically if you get a good block you can um you can play around your tower and have three armor and one hp region for almost nothing so the enemy mid laner can never trade with you if if, if you're under your tower another tip for safe laners and heroes that like to farm ancients is let's say this ancients are stacked and you want to farm them the best way to farm these ancients is to cutting the trees with a calling blade and it is much easier to stack them as well if you cut the trees and farm them if you notice this is much safer to farm here um, you're completely in, a, in an area where there's not a lot of vision early on and you're under your tower basically 
So, you know, if you get ganked here, somebody can TP and save you. So, cutting trees in this area will help you farm faster. You can cut these trees to farm faster. You can cut uh, these trees, these trees to farm faster. There's a lot of trees that you can cut around the map to basically just farm faster. For example, this tree as well. You farm this, then you can farm this at the same time. Let's say you're playing Ember. You can just, you can just use your flame guard and farm both of the camps together you can also use alchemist acid spray and there's just so many heroes that can farm like this way faster so knowing which trees to cut will actually help you farm way way faster also this is another tip for safe laners say you're playing um safe lane and uh you want your support to pull more the best way to enable your support to pull more is cutting trees for them now this if you cut this tree and these two trees here the support can basically pull this camp you can pull this camp from here to here on this creep wave easily and then you can also cut these trees to actually make a way for yourself to you know get out of bad situations get out of bad spots you can also cut just cut these trees so you don't get ganked yourself try to cut the, these trees in the lane and same goes for radiant you want to you want to cut these trees so your support can pull much easily And if you do it right, the camps actually get stacked as well. So overall, uh, this is how you can enable your support in a much, much better way. And this will deny the enemy a lot of experience and gold. Because if the camps are stacked, the creeps are going to die faster before they even know it. Another tip for Storm Spirit and Ember Spirit is that Storm can basically jump and use a lot of spells and items in the ball lightning as you're invulnerable so it's it's a big advantage in team fights if you get your hand on it like if you basically just get used to it you can orchid you can pull you can actually use any item while you are in ball lightning and the same goes for Ember Spirit. You can use any item while you're inside of Fist. And you can do whatever you basically want. And this is really, really uh, good for team fights. In team fights, you can be invulnerable and use spells at the same time spells items whatever really and it's gonna give you a big big advantage because you're doing all this while you're invulnerable and you can never be caught out if like i said if you get used to it so guys here's another tip um for basically support players and if you're an ns player this is something you should know uh phoenix is one of the biggest counters to nice talker as soon as nice talker pops his ultimate in a team fight, uh, as as soon as his ultimate is popped and you pop your egg, it's daytime. And the Night Stalker is pretty much useless. He doesn't uh, really have that extra vision. He doesn't have that extra movement speed. He doesn't have anything. Uh, and the egg just completely ruins the Night Stalker's existence in team fights. So if you see a Night Stalker against you and you know how to play a Phoenix, you know what to do. Pick Phoenix right then and there. And counter him really hard. And also, Phoenix counters uh, Night Stalker in the laning stage quite hard as well. So, here's another tip for Morseling, guys. Um, this tip is basically going to help you go get a lot of HP uh, without doing anything. You don't really have to buy any region items as a Morseling. And this is something that most pro players abuse as well. And as you get better at it, you can actually abuse it uh, in team fights as well. So right now, I have around 
100 HP and in the course of around 7 seconds what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna go full strength I'm gonna swap my items I'm just gonna drop this item here and once these items are uh, entirely on the like I don't know what to what to say it, but like when when they're ready in the item slots, you can go full agility, and you will have way more HP than you started with. So you have fifteen hundred HP now. And this is basically like abusing stats, if that makes sense. Let me let me do it again just to give you a better idea about it. So we start off with hundred HP, and the best way to do it is like. Yeah, so you put your items in the stash. Streaming. You go full strength. And while you're going full strength, you want to get your items back in the inventory. And then once these items are active, then you want to go back to full agility. And boom. Look at you. You're full HP now. Started with 100 HP. And now you're full HP. And you can do this in team fights. You can do this in the laning stage. You can do this all over the game. And this is why Morphling is one of the strongest laners uh, in the game. If you, if you actually just get used to abusing this tip right here. Other tip. And overall, this is for most Yules heroes. Heroes that can set up with Yules. Um, what you, what you want to do is... You want to buy a Raindrop. So if you have a raindrop, Yules will never mess up with you. Alright, so... I'm gonna use Yules on this guy. Since he has a raindrop, he can easily blink out. You see, his blink never got cancelled. Why? Because he's a raindrop, and the raindrop uh, went on cooldown. So raindrop is one of the biggest counters to heroes that set up with Yules. Shadow Fiend, White Spirit, uh, Lena, you name it. If you get a Yules, you have a raindrop, you can just easily blink out without a problem. So here's another tip for basically using Tangos. Um, so Hoodwing Tree, NP NP Sprout, Ironwood Tree, uh, right here. All right, I actually can't get the Ironwood Tree, but uh, all of these uh, spells and items they give extra region. So if you notice, it's double. Normally, a Tango gives uh, regeneration for six seconds, and if you use it uh, with Ironwood Tree. Or Iron Branch, uh -huh. or NP Sprout, you will actually get more region. So guys, that's that's pretty much it for the video. I have one last tip for you guys, and I personally think it's the best tip if you want to win your pubs, which is stop being toxic in your pubs, guys. Just stop it. Just think about it, guys. If you're if you ask someone nicely, would they respond to what you say? Would they actually listen to what you say? Or if you say, hey, you piece of shit or whatever, will they respond to you? No. Uh, if, you're, if you're toxic, only someone who really, really wants to win, he will see you as somebody immature and he will listen to you because he really wants to win. But 90% of people won't listen to you if you're being toxic. All right, and sometimes we're being toxic without even knowing it. Sometimes you think that uh, the other person deserves it. Maybe he's a bad player. Maybe he's having a bad game. But for whatever reason, you cannot justify being toxic. And even if you can justify being toxic, guys, I'm telling you right now, you will not win games by being toxic. So that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope this video has helped you out, uh, increase your knowledge uh, related to Dota, and I really hope it helps you increase your MMR. Until then, Shizidora signing out.